Welcome everyone. Welcome to God's Daily Dose, where we come together for a daily dose of God's Word. Tonight, um, our devotion is going to be on relating to those different from us. So, join me in prayer. Dear Lord, we are so grateful for another day to be come together to be in your Word. We ask for any discernment and understanding that you wish for us to have, Lord. And we are just grateful to be in your Word every day. We want you to give us a love for it, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, so I'm going to start off. Today's devotion is in John 4, and we know that um, the book of John is written by the Apostle John, and he's writing to the Gentile believers and um, also the seeking unbelievers. And um, John presents Jesus as the Word, the Messiah, and the incarnate Son of God. And um, who has come to reveal the Father and bring eternal life to all who believe in him. Everyone, right? So, I'm just going to start here in, um, in John 4. Jesus talks with a Samaritan woman. He says, Now Jesus learned that the Pharisees had heard that he was gaining and baptizing more disciples than John. Although, in fact, it was not Jesus who baptized, but his disciples. So he left Judea and went back once more to Galilee. Now he had to go through Samaria. So he came to a town in Samaria called Sychar, near the plot of ground Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and and Jesus, tired as he was from the journey, sat down by the well. It was about noon. When a Samaritan woman came up to draw water, Jesus said to her, Will you give me a drink? His disciples had gone into town to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, You are a Jew, and I am a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink? For Jews do not associate with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks you for a drink, You would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. Sir, the woman said, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where can you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well and drank from it himself, as did also his sons and his livestock? Jesus answered, everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in sorry. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I won't get thirsty and have to keep coming here to draw water. He told her, Go. Call your husband and come back. I have no husband, she replied. Jesus said to her, You are right when you say you have no husband. The fact is, you have had five husbands, and the man you now have is not your husband. What you have just said is quite true. Sir, the woman said, I can see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain, But you Jews claim that the place where we must worship is in Jerusalem. Woman, Jesus replied, believe me, a time is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You Samaritans worship what you do not know. We worship what we do know, for for salvation is from the Jews. Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in the Spirit and in the truth, for they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. God is Spirit, and His worshipers must worship in the Spirit and in truth. The woman said, I know that Messiah called Christ is coming. When He comes, He will explain everything to us. Then Jesus declared, I am. The one speaking to you, I am he. Amen. So our devotion today 
is um, relating to those different from us. And I don't have my laptop tonight, so I'm not going to be reading word for word what the devotion said, but I'm just going to kind of summarize um, some of the things here. Um, so the devotion was by TGIF again, and he starts off, do you find it difficult to relate to others who are different from you? Do you shy away from interacting with those who may have a different belief? He insists instead of adversity for those different from him, from him, Jesus interacted and built a relationship with them. Many people grow up with traditional customs in their culture and grow up believing what they are, they are taught. And he says, Satan will deceive us by having us assume that others do not want to engage with us. Uh, Christians, it is vital for us to engage with others unlike us. We're all looking for a genuine relationship, which he says Jesus operated based on as assumption as he spoke with this lady. Um, and then he goes on to um, say that why not seek out a relationship with someone different from us? Um, you'll be surprised how God might use us. So when we think about today's society, especially in America, we have multi-cultures, right? We have cultures of all different religions, all different um, race, and um, Jesus came to save us all. And so it's important, especially as Christians, it's so vital, so vital because we need to bring salvation in Christ to them. But if we aren't interacting with with non-believers or Muslims or, you know, think of all the different um, religions, Jews, atheists, and even sat Satanists, right? People who believe in uh, worship Satan, all these people we must reach in order to, for them to hear the word. If they never hear the word, how are they going to find salvation? You know, um, so I'm going to challenge you to do, um, to seek out a relationship let's let's challenge ourselves um me included i i myself have actually been in a situation um where i've come across a non-believer and um i didn't know how to speak and so instead of having conflict i just chose not to right i just walked away from that situation but now being in the word um i have um more of a want to reach them, right? Um, I have more scripture knowledge to be able to reach them. And so that's really what we want to do. And whenever we're out there, we want to remember not to rush our beliefs onto somebody, right? We want to be able to take the time to get to know them just as Jesus, you know, kind of got to know this woman at the well. He tried to get to know all of the uh, unbelievers around to spread the word. And um, he spoke as the um in the the um the devotion he mentions how Jesus spoke supernaturally uh into her life the woman at the well and um which broke through the religious spirit and led her to faith in Christ as well as the rest of the community there right and so um it really he really impacted the community there and so when we think about it, we think supernaturally. How are we going to speak supernaturally? Well, it's the Holy Spirit speaks, right? The Holy Spirit is our supernatural way to reach others. We just have to give them the word and they should be convicted and the Spirit will convict them and bring them to Christ. So we just want, but we have to make sure that we reach them. We have to build a relationship with them. We can't just expect them to listen to what we have to say we also have to sometimes sit down and listen to what they have to say so we can better understand them and know really where um, by listening and understanding their beliefs we can actually um, use scripture to show them where where and why we believe the way we do and um, so uh, and we want to ask God to um, help us right so through the Spirit. And so today's reminder, we want to fully rely on God each and every day. We want to submit to God and let Him lead us. And then we want to be in the Word daily. And we don't want to just know it. We want to live it, love it, and obey it. And we want to seek first God's kingdom and His righteousness. And then we want to pray always and about everything. So let me pray us out. 
Dear Lord, we're so grateful for the word you've given us. Allow us to reach others that are non-believers and or confused on the word, Lord. Please allow us to um, be able to be open and build relationships with people who are different from us so that we can better understand them and they can better understand us, Lord, and allow us to reach them in spirit so that the spirit, your spirit, can reach them and bring them to know your precious love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, everyone. Y'all have a blessed night, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.